on today's ProPresenter show, Choosing a Mac for ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with ProPresenter, the software from Renewed Vision. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So today, I thought we'd again revisit the ProPresenter hardware course, and I'd show you another sample lesson. If you haven't uh, seen the first one that I did just about choosing computers in general, then by all means, take a look at that. But today, more specifically, let's talk about some of the intricacies of choosing a Mac. And I'm a Mac guy, so there are a few things that you need to keep in mind so that you don't buy a computer that's maybe not as right for your situation as you think it may be. So let's head to the video and take a look. You'll recall when we talked about choosing a computer to run ProPresenter on, that I took you to this page and I talked a little bit about uh, the Mac versus the Windows PC for ProPresenter. So let's say that you've decided to go with the Mac. How should you proceed? Well, the first thing that you're going to do is notice how it says 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor here. So the first thing that I would do is if I had some old Macintoshes laying around and maybe I wanted to use them for age group ministry or in rooms that are smaller. Uh, or let's say I already have a Mac that I'm using for another purpose and I'm curious without actually going to that Mac and firing it up. Uh, by the way, if you do have the Mac fired up, then clicking on the Apple and going to About This Mac this will show you mine, which is actually on the co on the edge of not running ProPresenter. So you'll notice that I've got a 13-inch mini uh, MacBook Pro mid 2010, a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor. Look, 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, four gigs of RAM, four gigs of RAM. Uh, so this machine will run. I, in addition, I've swapped out the spinning drive for a solid state drive, and that really helps the performance. So if you are, uh, if you already have a Mac, that's where I would check to see how its specifications align with what's going on here. If it's a Mac that you can upgrade the memory and you only have two gigs, but everything else is good. By all means, throw some more RAM in there, and maybe you can make it work. Um, if someone donates a computer, again, first check here, and then go from there. Let's say someone says, yes, I bought a Mac back in 2008. It's an iMac, and I want to know if you, should, if you could use it for ProPresenter. Again, probably wouldn't want to use it in... Uh, the weekend service, but maybe in a room that's less used or uh, has a, a smaller group of people, it would be perfectly fine. So let's check this. Okay, here we are on everymac.com slash systems slash by, pro by underscore processor slash Intel dash core dash two dash duo dash max dot HTML. Again, I'll leave a link um, with this video. So, we're going to scroll down and look. iMac, early 2008, 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo. So, that works. In fact, it looks like everything from two, early 2008, iMac-wise, and this is when they were uh, first introduced, in, on should support it. Well, what about uh, a MacBook? Let's scroll down. Um, no, 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 and we 
get way down here to the white 2008 MacBook and the 09, etc. All those on, support it. So you can see checking this list is a good way to know just based on what Mac you have in inventory without going to each and every one of them, which ones will support it. So that's a good resource as well. Now let's say that you just need one more. It's, again, not mission critical. It's not going to make or break the weekend service, but you need one more. Maybe you need it to create ProPresenter presentations on. Maybe you need it for a smaller room, etc., where should you go? This is one of the places that I would go, macofalltrades.com. Again, keep in mind what you have. So let's say that I really wanted a Mac Pro or an iMac. I could click on refurbished Apple desktops here. And let's say that I want... Let's say an iMac. So, remember, 2008 is as old as we would ever conceivably want to go. Something newer would be better. So let's just see what we have in the choices here. And you can see that we have a lot more choices. So... Here is a late 2012, which is, you know, as I'm recording it, about four, a little over four years old. It's uh, January of 2017, so it's a little over four years old, but we've got an Intel Core i5 processor, it's got eight gigs of RAM, um, so this one should run ProPresenter absolutely fine. So that might be a choice. Um, we've got another one here from 2013. Again, Core i5 processor. That's a newer processor than the Core 2 Duo. So we're fine. So you can see how in certain applications you can save some money with perhaps a machine that's a little older that you might want to consider. Now, you might think that if you wanted to go with a brand new machine, the next place that you would go is Apple.com. Let me encourage you not to go to Apple.com, but to first go to this buyer's guide, buyersguide.macrumors.com. There's a reason for this. Some of the um, Mac models are older. It's been a while since they've been refreshed. So this is a good place to say, hey, it could be that you'll buy this and in a month there'll be a new one. So just keep that in mind. The, the MacBook Pro... That was released in October 2016. It's January 2017. That's one that's uh, pretty good. Now, the MacBook, that was released 280 day, 82 days ago in 2016. There's a pretty good chance that they're going to release another one in April and or thereabouts, and it's January, so... It depends on how much I would need one, but just consider that. Now let's look at the iMac. That was last revised in October of 2015. It's January of 2017. Over a year, 471 days as, um, as I'm recording this. So, as we're looking at this... Um, May 2015, October 2014, September 2013, November. You can see all the previous releases that 
they're hovering around a year, year and a half. So we're above average here. MacBook Air, there's some rumors that it's just going the way of the Dodo, so it could be that you do not want to go with the MacBook Air. The Mini, that was released in October 2014, and it's January 2017. There's, it could go either way. It could be that any minute now they're going to release a new one, or it could be that they're going to quit making the Mini. I'm hoping that they release a new one. So, uh, if so, the Mini is really one of the best machines for ProPresenter. Because um, it's value priced, starting at five or $600. And um, usually it has everything that you need. Again, the Mac Pro, December of 2013. Ooh, it's been a while over three years since that was uh, revised. And before that, two years. And before that, every year. So, are they slowing down on the Mac Pro? I don't know. But it's just something to consider as you're uh, going to buy a new Mac. So next, you might think, well, okay, I'm going to go to apple.com and uh, apple.com slash Mac, and I'm going to look through these. Let me suggest that there are a couple of different places that you would look. First off, I would scroll all the way down here to the bottom, and refurbished and clearance. You're going to get a full um, warranty with these. They're not going to, there aren't going to be as many uh, to choose from, but it could be that you're going to save yourself some money. So I'd uh, go there, and I've already loaded this to save us some time, but you can uh, notice that this used to be $1,500, and now it's twelve sixty nine. dollars So full one-year warranty, etc. So you have some options when it comes to these refurbished Macs, the Apple refurbished program is really good. So for a lot of people, a refurbished Mac that you know has been gone over with a fine tooth comb by an Apple technician, it didn't just roll off the assembly line, it's actually been looked at, might be worth looking at. You know, um, if I was in the market for a Mac Mini, I think I'd be tempted by one of these. Um, 8 gigs of memory, 1 terabyte hard drive, uh, it's a i5 for $589. Um, so originally $110 more than that, so almost $700, but you get this for $589. There's also, by the way, um, pricing for nonprofits, so you could look into that as a church and uh, do that way. Now, one thing that uh, I think I would caution you against is buying a Mac from Amazon or buying a Mac from Best Buy or a place like that. If you don't have a choice, that's one thing, but in general, I've found that you get excellent and I mean excellent support from Apple. So if you've got an Apple store near you, um, you know that you can take in your Mac if you have a problem and get it taken care of. If not, you might have to send it off. And Best Buy, they might try and fix it, but I've heard more than one person that had a bad, a bad experience. Could be those are just aberrations, so don't me saying they're all going to be that way. Um, same thing with Amazon. With Amazon, they're not going to fix it. You're going to have to send it to Apple anyway. So just consider that as you're deciding on uh, where to purchase your Mac for ProPresenter. Well, I hope that helped you.
If you're interested in learning more about the ProPresenter hardware course, it's releasing really soon. In fact, you might be watching this after it releases. Either way, the link is the same. Go to tdm.fyi slash pro6 hardware. Again, that's tdm.fyi slash pro6 hardware. TDM, short for Trinity Digital Media, my ministry. FYI, for your information, slash pro6 hardware. And you can uh, get more information about the course there. If you just want information about my newsletter, courses, discounts, tips and tricks, etc., then by all means subscribe, because I think that you'll really enjoy what I have to offer in my email newsletter. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and turn it You know the video's over, right? I mean, you can stick around and hang with me here if you want. I mean, all I'm going to do is tell you to go ahead and subscribe and click on the little bell icon to get notifications so that you can be part of the contests that are coming up. So, I would do that if I were you.